Hello everybody, it's John Lawson and I'm back in my fitting studio in boulogne billancourt in France. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the new shaft from Mitsubishi, the Tensei 1K Pro Red. Doing some tests on gears, I'd like to share some of the results. So let's get suited up. So here are the specifications for this Tensei 1K Pro Red. I thought I'd use the, the 1K Blue uh, as well so we could have something to compare it against. So both, both shafts weighing in at uh, 61 grams. Um, both also had 3.9 of, of torque. The CPM is slight difference. So for the Pro Red 240 and for the Pro Blue 244. So just slightly stiffer with the, the Pro Blue. Both were exactly 45 and a half inches long and swing weight slight difference again just slightly heavier with the Pro Blue and I was using the, uh, the, the Profile the 6S version, the, six, the 60 stiff. So here we are on gears with the two shafts, the Tensei 1K Pro Red in red and the 1K Blue in blue. So it's going to start this off uh, and I think there's going to be something which could be quite interesting which you cannot really see or you can't see uh, without this sort of equipment, without gears. It's just the start of the swing here. I'm just going to take this, you can already see the shaft deflecting here at the, at the bottom. I'm just going to take this to when the shaft, that club head is in front of the right foot and the shaft is already deflecting with the, uh, the 1K Pro Red. So we've got lead deflection of actually 78 millimeters here. So the shaft's only, or the club's only moved sort of half about a foot, and we've already got 78 millimeters of, of lead deflection. Actually, do the same thing with the uh, the blue shaft. There's going to be a little bit less, and this is just me putting force into the handle uh, and the weight of the head, which is dragging the head, which is in, in front of the shaft. So you've got uh, you've got about 20 millimeters less with the blue, the the pro blue. So you can already see that the, the Pro Red is going to be slightly softer in the tip section. I'm going to take them both up to the top now. And we're going to see a pretty much it's very similar um, deflection. This is droop deflection here. And these were very similar in the, in the droop deflection. And in the, uh, in the lead or lag deflection, they were pretty much back to, to zero here. I'm going to take the, the Pro Red now down to maximum lag deflection in the downswing, which was here. It's about 20 millimeters, so that the club head is 20 millimeters behind the shaft at this stage uh, to the path. And the blue one, if I take it down to the, the same spot, was at 15. So you can already see that the, 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 the pro red shaft is slightly softer. But yet again, 20 millimeters is very little uh, lag deflection at this time. You, you can imagine some, some players actually getting up to 50 millimeters of lag deflection uh, who really load heavily the shaft, which is not my case. But what I'd like to sort of uh, bring across here is both of these shafts are very stable. Uh, this, this is only a, a six, uh, six stiff uh, or a 60 stiff shaft. It's not that stiff, but it's also very, very stable. Now I take both of these shafts now down to uh, to P6 with the shaft parallel to the ground. It's going to move across, not up. And you can see now that they're both completely back to zero again, so completely lined up. And from here to here, it's just going to be some slight changes. When you look at, at the Pro Red now, it's just got a little bit more uh, lead deflection than the Pro Blue. 30 for 33 millimeters for the Pro Red and 28 for the Pro Blue. So slightly more positive or, or lead deflection for the Pro Red, which should change the dynamic loft and a little bit the launch angle. And actually what changes is, is actually the, the angle of attack. I can show you this now. I'm just going to take this back in front and take, bring up the information on both of these shafts. You actually can see for the Pro Red, I was hitting it 7.71 degrees up and for the Pro Blue, 5.38. Uh, with pretty much the same uh, swing path, just the club face was actually slightly more open to the path with the blue one, which is going to change the dynamic loft. So if we look at the dynamic loft here in the center of the face, 
was 18.52 with the, the 1K Pro Red, and I was 17.23 with the 1K Pro Blue. So about one degree of difference through launch angle, or through, so, sorry, angle of attack and deflection. So you can definitely see that the Pro Red is just going to launch it slightly higher. It's just a slightly softer shaft, and that should produce a launch angle which would be higher and a little bit more spin. So to summarize, I really enjoyed playing with this shaft. I liked the way it felt in the downswing, being able to load and unload, and just giving me that slightly higher launch angle, which, which could be very interesting for quite a lot of players. But whilst giving a higher launch angle, it was also very stable, which is quite rare for that sort of type of shaft. So lots of stability, but slightly higher launch. I think that's one of the reasons it could be very interesting in a fairway wood. So I'm, I'm going to be trying that out pretty quick, pretty soon. It's definitely going to be a, a very good addition to the Tensei lineup. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate them to put them in the comments below. And I hope to see you all soon for some more videos.